Come on, Smokey. Good oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Holy. Go back. This horse is like a motocross <laughs> jump. Almost landed right on the dog. Come on, Smokey. The dog almost got that work, oh. boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Woo. Oh. Our guest today is a country music recording artist whose latest album, Suffer in Peace, debuted in the top five of Billboard 200. Give it up for Tyler Farr. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. First boots. Look at that. First boots ever on this stage. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our first ever country musician. <laughs> Tyler, here, here's the thing about, about country music and me. This morning, I was listening to different of your tracks, you know, listening to the album, and then that's it. All morning, I'm freestyle country singing. <laughs> like, I got a man in the front row. His goatee is kind of wild. <laughs> that's where I go. Like, I get into it, you know what I mean? You ever country freestyle or not? Ah, uh, yeah, I drop the beat from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me about this latest album. What does Suffer in Peace mean exactly? Uh, in the song, it talks about maybe your wife or girlfriend or somebody screwed you over, did something bad, went and fornicated with somebody in the <laughs> trailer next door. So I don't know. And then they take off up the hills and retreat. And I understand that. If you got a wife that's going to fornicate, <laughs> you should probably go suffer somewhere. Uh, everybody in this first category feels a lot of pain and feels the need to run. We call it Suffer in Peace. Take a look. <laughs> I'm so Euro. I'm so Euro. Um, what do you got to do? I'm going to go be German in peace. <laughs> get there. Get there. I mean, but like, whatever that was was like mad impressive, though. Even though he didn't get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what is that? He got penetrated. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, look at that. Boy. Oh, oh. A sphincter. Oh no, I gotta go to Butthole Depot. <laughs> I'm ready. You ready? Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm gonna go cry about my nuts in private. <laughs> go on. To suffer in peace. There you have it. All right, Tyler, we found this footage of you riding some sketchy backwoods roller coaster. Okay. Oh, yeah. And it's a man in, in fear. Right? It's a man in fear, but you only got one word, beginning to end. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. my thing's coming up. They didn't last my thing. They didn't last my damn thing. They didn't last my damn thing. They didn't latch it. Ah! Ah! Yeah. They didn't last my damn thing. I didn't know what it was. I mean, what happened, man? What so, happened? I don't. I didn't know what it was called, so I did. You know, I don't know what something's called. Therefore, it's a thing. Right. <laughs> and it was the only thing keeping me in the whatever the hell that was, like a bobsled coaster thing, and it was gone. <laughs> oh, man, man. Coaster, it's a bobsled backwards <laughs> coaster. Was going like Mach 15 or. And people die on that thing all day long. It doesn't even make news. Casualties every week. Dedicated to, to being really scared on a sketchy roller coaster. The category, they didn't latch my thing. All right, just go. Just go. I'm scared. All right, y'all just check the seatbelt real quick. Oh, you didn't check oh, it. Oh, you didn't check you it? Check it. I ain't checked it yet. Just pull it on. Oh, I didn't check it. Oh. <laughs> she just still for a second. It's been a good eight years. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Why she think she holding it together though? <laughs> if I move, this whole thing goes down. <laughs> Oh, 
shield. She, had, she held it in as tight as she could to the end, and she was like, what the f am I doing here? Well, she, she had the girl from The Exorcist sitting next to her. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. By the time the devil got out, it popped right into her. <laughs> All right, there you have it for Didn't Last My Fan. All right, our guest today is the country music superstar. His new album, Old Wheeler, is in stores now. Welcome, Wheeler Walker Jr. <laughs> Wheeler Walker Jr., when you release the album Redneck I understand that rather than putting it out in stores that you streamed it on a porn site? Oh, yeah, well, well so one guy was telling me, you know, he's like, they premiere a lot of albums on NPR. I go, NPR. I go, email Pornhub. <laughs> and they go, and porn, I go, can I preview the album on Pornhub? And they go, and they said yes. And my people were like, you know, you got, that's crazy. I go, oh, really? You want to reach every masturbator in the world? <laughs> <laughs> More like every man in the world. I'm surprised I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I heard right away. The problem is a lot of the people who go to Pornhub don't click on the country videos. <laughs> <laughs> you, must, you must be one of those guys. Dedicated to your release on Pornhub before a major release, the category premature releases. Take a look. Premature releases. <laughs> Let go. Oh, oh. I ain't got but a rock in my butthole. I'll catch you. Ah, damn it, I just popped my hammies. <laughs> No, I swear, this happens to a lot of guys. I want to give that kid a half price record. <laughs> you made it that far. There's no reason to give up. Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. There's always somebody in sandals trying to climb some yeah. You can't trust a man when you can see his toes, period. <laughs> I give up! Hold up, I got this. I clammy hands again. He didn't even try to catch him. At least a tip. Not with one hand, motherfucker. <sighs> now, Willard, would you ever consider making a radio friendly album? No, it ruined my whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> my whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Him. I just want to put that out there. Man, look. Feel, feelings mutual. <laughs> <laughs> look, he's, he's, he's the king for a reason. Okay. <laughs> what we decided to do is, is put together a category of people that could never, ever make music like you make because they are naturally born radio friendly. Take a look. <laughs> oh. Oh. What happened? Owie! Oh! Owie! Oh! Oh, gee. Oh! Oh, hell no! Holy cannoli! <laughs> Holy cannoli! Holy cannoli! <laughs> Hold my root beer. <laughs> Woo! Holy! Oh, holy awesome! <laughs> holy! Awesome. I think I got the name of my next record. <laughs> <laughs> Mother trucker, dude. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Okay. A, a butt, butt cheek, cheek on, on a stick. stick. All right, there you have it for Radio Friendly. <laughs> Our guests today are multi-platinum country superstars. Give it up for Brian Kelly, Tyler Hubbard of Florida Georgia Live. <laughs> Good to see you. It's just, man. Hello. If I, if I, it look. 
I did like a trip down to like Tallahassee when I was like 15. If I would have like got lost and ended up finding one of you guys, I could have been part of the band. <laughs> Hey, there's still time. So, Brian, you're from Florida. That's right. Right, Tyler, you're from Georgia. That's right. And you met in Tennessee. Yeah. And then you said, let's take it back and, and create a band. And then you were just like, let's come up with a name right between the both of us. Super original, right? right? I mean, <laughs> I, did you have any backups? We can't even talk about those, man. Those are oh, pretty bad. I think we had a couple, but I don't even... <clears throat> I think we've just sort of deleted those from our yeah, memory yeah. altogether. Well, I mean, hey, what's better, Florida or Georgia? <laughs> just depends on, you know, on the time, time of year. Here? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we got both a category great. here uh, that we think is probably a handful of clips that either uh, came out of Georgia or Florida. We call it probably Panhandle. Take a look. <laughs> I mean, this got to be Florida. Whoa! Yeah, on a golf course. On a golf course, yeah. Okay, golfing, gatoring, and budding. <laughs> this might be the actual line right here. <laughs> like, the line, like, right here. <laughs> Let's draw the line. Oh, my God. Man. Good kicker, fees get hung up in the a legend line. right there. He's my spirit animal. Let him <laughs> Oh, give me that, girl. Oh, my oh. God. You ain't living if you hadn't shared dip with your girlfriend, I'm telling you. Uh-oh. Get it. <laughs> Can I call it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm fairly impressed. Yeah. Man. Is that Florida or Georgia right there? That could that could be either. <laughs> that could be I mean, either. I think they're a duo as well. I think he's Georgia. I think he's Florida, and they just work well together. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you have it for probably Panhandle. Okay, Tyler, I saw um, footage of your dog on stage. Oh, yeah, that happens every now and then. Yeah, wearing headphones. Yeah. Right? And he's got sensitive ears. He's got a good mix, you know, in his ears. <laughs> and I'm saying thousands and thousands of people, and he was just doom, 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 like on stage <laughs> as if nothing, he wasn't affected by it. Like fans were just petting him. It was like he was scratching himself, he was relaxing. Yep. How often is, is your dog on tour? He, he's on tour with us quite a bit, but uh, we've, had to, we've had to leave him on the bus because, yeah, he'll just, he'll just steal the show if we're not yeah, careful. Man, I, look, there's a lot of dogs out there that have talented gifts. And, and you can see yours if you end up seeing a live show and he's not locked away. Uh, but this category is filled with just dogs with talent. We call it pup stars. Take a look. Are you the smartest pit bull? I'm more than just a pit bull. Gorgeous. Yes, you are. I ain't gonna bite Arthur, nobody. Can you go play the piano? Well, you're damn right I can. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. That's a song. You could turn that into a song he real quick. He means that, too. He's passionate. He is passionate. Very good. Boy, play for that. Bruh. It's a rocker. It's just solo. <laughs> Whiplash over here. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so cute. He is losing his <laughs> No, oh, man. Is that real? Bruh. I can't be real. No. Look, I can't give those cute little dogs credit, man. They're not playing the instruments. <laughs> First of all, Stay on that clip. He hates this gear, bro. He is like, I am ready to retire. Just real casual. He does not want to be there. Is this the same dog that, that your dog is? is? I think that's a golden. That which is, is man. Hard the is. Golden retrievers are built for the stage, they are. man. You're not on beat unless you're passionate. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bees over here. <laughs> Just scratching. You are a very talented, talented dog. We'll be right back with more Ridiculous There. Our guest today, award-winning country music phenom. His album, Experiment, went to number one on Billboard. Welcome the one and only, Kane Brown. <laughs> I'm a guy that listens to country on the radio only. Right? 
And when I first started hearing your music, I didn't know what you looked like, right? And I thought it was like just some like way older, big, like white guy, right? And I was like, this young kid, like he could have been a rapper, but he's like a full country guy. My, it like blew my brain apart. I get it. Now, where did you get the title and idea for Experiment for your last album? I went to Texas. We're trying to write like these pop songs as demos and then take them to Dan Hoff, which is my producer, and make them really country. And uh, some, a radio person asked me what I want to call the album, so I was just experimenting and it stuck with it. Okay, well look, not only did it stick, but it worked. Okay, we're talking about a number one album, and that's what happens when you experiment and it works. <laughs> Everybody in this category, they're trying to experiment and none of it works. We call it failed experiments. Take a look. Oh, I got you, Daryl. I got you, Daryl. Oh, you got it. He's fine. Oh my God, y'all gotta grab him. At least he's wearing black. He won't get a bad grass stain. <laughs> What? That's what you care about is a grass thing? I was like, yo, I never... Man gonna die. Man, he's gonna get <laughs> caught by the wind and go into an electrical thing. Yo, but that was like the beginning of the commercial, you know what I mean? Like... Man. Good. Here we go. I can dunk, I swear. Oh. <laughs> All right. Why well, is he dressed like a dad already? He like... <laughs> His, his outfit, his coordination, everything told you he could not do this. I just want to go back to Hawaii. <laughs> okay. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Can you ever uh, bungee jump? No. Would you consider it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, this is what may happen. So, who no, no, no. Good. Lock. Oh. 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 But they should just pick her up, unstrap her, and send her home. Yeah, right. Right. You can't let her try again. Oh, uh, get it, Karen. Oh, Let's just gosh. stop it. Let's just stop it. Get it, Karen. Oh! She did a split? Man. I don't think she knows how to do the splits normally. Either. No. Her oh, body gosh. is yelling at her Good. right now. <laughs> you knew we could do it. There you have it for failed experiments. <laughs> All right. You got a song called Heaven, right? That's basically like, hey, heaven is great and all, but lying here with you, girl, this is real heaven, right? Yeah, when I heard it, I just related to my wife a lot. Okay, because you're a man that loves love. Right? Yeah. You were recently <laughs> married, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> look, this category right here is other people that love love, and they know that their relationship is better than heaven. Take a look. Girl, let's just get oh, here. Man. Oh, man. Man, I man. love it. Did he walk inside? You're not even sweating. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> yeah. Girl, I love the Vikings. Oh. Taste this, girl. Oh, man. They never stopped, either. They're in a little thing called a drunk love bubble. Welcome back to Ridiculousness. Give it up for our guest, Jason Aldean. Okay, uh, I understand you're in the middle of building your dream house. How's that going? Uh, it's a process, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, so, I don't want to do it again. No, that. no. What, what about it's uh, not as easy as you'd like? I think it's just the time that it takes to, to build, you know. It's like we've been living in a rental house now for about a year, mm. and uh, which is fine, but it's, I'm over it now, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, we, we got this cool place we're building, and it's just taking forever, so. And what kind of, you got like weird fun stuff in there? What do you, what do you, I mean, yeah, heard I you want, got a bowling alley maybe? Yeah, bowl, bowling alley, we got a two lane bowling alley in there. We got a pool in the back that looks like a Sandals Beach Resort or something, <laughs> okay, you know? Okay, okay. So yeah. Everybody in this category right here, they don't, because all these houses are terrible. Take a look at bad dream houses. Hey, Man, this thing is built tough. Oh! This is like your contractor that'll just be like, I'll oh, just patch it up. <laughs> this, act, this actually might be my house. <laughs> yeah, let's just clean this dirt up and this place will be perfect. I oh, know, that's what he's gonna fall through. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh! You got a basement now! Yeah, no. <laughs> Everybody sit back and watch this. Whoa. I think we all to that. <laughs> My granddaddy built this from the ground up. Put his bare hand. Go back. Can we see what his eye says? Daddy it looks built like this somebody from... drew on him with a 
No, he with loves a face tat. Follow yeah. your dreams. Okay. Follow your dreams. <laughs> okay. Man, this is my dream house. See <laughs> so this craftsman. Strong, man. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Right away, I'm breaking man. in. Here. Your dead granddaddy said, oh. get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it for bad dream houses. Okay. Uh, the song drowns the whiskey, another mega hit. Uh, conceptually, it's like even though uh, you're drinking drink after drink, uh, one too many, uh, you still can't get a woman out of your mind. Do you think that's possible after like a full bottle of Jack? Probably. Yeah, yeah. man. Probably. You know what I mean? I know those memories of that. That wool might be really nice and strong, but the truth is, I think any whiskey can eventually drink yourself to full black. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Which is basically everybody in this category. Whiskey drowners, take a look. Is this more a lago? Okay. All right. Well, that's it for me. <laughs> she didn't need that. They just lost the whole person. <laughs> And you just feel like they left her. Later. This guy didn't know what yeah. was going on. Yeah. He's like, did we lose somebody? Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. Well, okay. Oh. oh, no. I hope that's mayonnaise on his face, by the way. No, man. <laughs> You're done. Oh, oh no. Stop. Enough to... I gotta go to the big guns. A little bit. She's trying to be nice. She shook it a little bit. A little bit more. No? She's trying to be cool about it. <laughs> she is concerned yeah. for him. Look at her face. He really does go from like get up to like, oh, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Our guest today, a country music superstar, the deluxe version of his album, Born Here, Live Here, <laughs> Die Here, is out now, and he's soon to be performing again on the Proud to Be Right Here tour. Give it up for Luke Bryan. What's up? Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> I, crazy. I mean, how excited. I believe I can sit here and say what I want. <laughs> oh, man. But I probably won't. <laughs> okay, look, how excited are you to get back on tour? Very excited. I mean, to... To see real live human beings, yeah, yeah. having fun, dancing, partying, and, and when you can't go do what you really, really, really love, it's been uh, it's been pretty interesting year and a half. All right, well, look, man, I'd like to take you further back. <laughs> I'd like to take you all the way back to 14, mm. where you went on a run just falling off stage. Okay. Yeah, I got really good at that. I mean, look, what was going on? And, and look, there's the one video of like, you know, your boy hands you a beer. I don't know what the flow is, and then you. <laughs> You go straight on to your back, and like you try to get them to like, hold up, hold up. You try to get them to stop, but they just keep the music going, and you just land on your back and just I just, just kept, go. <laughs> I kept setting myself up for a fall, but, uh, but it hey, was like three of them. But the show went on. Show man. went on, baby. You got up and kept it moving, right? So we dedicated this first category to people that are gonna keep performing no matter what. Take a look at the show must go on. <laughs> What up? Urgent care coming at ya. Oh, 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 God. Oh. oh. It was oh, like a mirror. Look. It was like a mirror. They got right there. How did they generate that much speed? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's so violent. It's like an it airbag is. going off. <laughs> it looks like they're doing it on purpose. They like. probably go the opposite way. Yeah. Bam! You missed one rehearsal. You missed one rehearsal is what happened. <laughs> OK, uh, OK. Oh, hey. OK. Hey, he's a professional. Always has a backup. Hey. Always has a backup. When you picture someone that gets into juggling, like he just he's the vibe. You know yeah. I mean? But where do you go? Where do you peek at? You peek? I think you peek. Maybe this Vegas. might be it right here. Yeah. You peek, yeah. Oh, in Vegas? You get to Vegas as a juggler. Okay. Jug yeah. ju almost a juggler. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Stand up and address your emperor. Whoa. Oh my god. Sunroof. Don't stop. Don't stop. Holy sunroof. The moves are way less confident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you hit, really, you get back up, you really like, settle in. There you have it for the show must go on. <laughs> Here. 
Okay, let's talk about Country Does, man. What, what, what's the, the theme behind that song? It's just a song about being proud of where you grow up. And uh, I mean, obviously in country music, we sing about our small towns a lot. We sing about the places that we come from. I mean, I grew up in a town with you know, four or five hundred people where we know everybody. Now, do you and ever, it's kind of got a little rap vibe. It's almost like a little rap vibe <laughs> in the verses, you know. Okay. So, yeah. it's, it's, like, it's like the swaggy country. There you go. I like just that. heard a song. I was telling him about it. I don't know if I should talk about that it's song. It's not the same thing. This is not you a good have thing. To know this song. I just heard this song in Georgia, and I was like, what the f am I listening? Have you heard the d down in Dallas song? Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I absolutely it's have. Oh, man. Crazy. I didn't know. It's like, what... What's the words? It's... Uh, look, whatever it's it is, insane. we can't clear it. Whatever... <laughs> down in Dallas. And then gang banged in Tennessee. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. All right. I don't, all right. I don't know how we were just talking about a country town of 500 people that love each other and know each other well. Chanel took us to a gang bang. Okay. What I'd like to do yeah, is I'd pull. Say, hey. I'd stayed away from all those hey, topics. I'm going to pull us all the way back to this amazing category of just people keeping it country. Uh, Take a look. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what is that? Are they gonna fight? Are they fighting? Oh no, it's like a vacuum cleaner for for spiders. Ah! Oh! No. Yeah, I'm not sure just... who won that battle. I love how, oh, there's a spider. Let me go get my my chicken that eats <laughs> spiders. <laughs> not my husband. <laughs> hey, you gotta get your protein. Why can't I get the hat? You're really gonna spend $200 on a hat when you won't even spend $5 to give you a cook at the gas station? If you buy that stupid hat, we are no longer together. So, is it the hat or is it me? He sent her away, huh? Um, I got the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. Yeah, I'm single. Man, that's the way you got to do it right there. There you have it for keeping it country. That was funny. Okay, you are from Texas. When people meet yes. you, do they believe that you're from Texas? Um, yes. I mean, a lot of people from LA, especially, I'm like, hey, what's up? How are y'all? And I give everyone a hug. They're like, you're not from here. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I mean, y'all and, and hugs are just Texas all day long. Totally. Now, do you ever rock a cowboy hat out here? You know what? I haven't, but I have rock cowboy boots. Okay, okay. Yes. That's, that's equally as cowboyish. Totally. Okay. <laughs> Everybody in this category right here has that, that Texas vibe, only they're getting hurt looking good. Take a look at Tex Rex. Oh. Hey! Oh, okay. Hey, hey, okay. hey, 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 hey. Oh. Not okay. This is real friendship, though. You see how fast he got in there? Oh. Yeah. From one cowboy to the other. I love you, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Get her again. I just love that her defense was like a four foot away, like scare kick. <laughs> Did not work. <laughs> Put my baby down. Here we go. Oh, oh my man. God. Like the <laughs> cow's gonna be like, oh yeah, that's the police. I gotta pull over. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't have my license on me either. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? I've been looking for your ass. What's up, man? Oh, oh, oh. Yo, okay. Go back. Yo. Oh my God. Yo. Didn't they speed up? Yeah, like... that cop was like, just trying to be nice and casual. Yeah. Don't want to create a scene. You just attacked a man. You get over here. <laughs> the animal's innocent. There you have it for Tex Rex. OK, cowboy hats. Yeah. Uh, they're incredibly versatile. I love right. them. You I, do? Got a, I got a few. Yeah. I don't. Wild West Coast, what's up? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. You, you shot a video, like, cowboy hat it up. I don't remember specifically, but as I just even think about it, I think about, like, assless chaps. And I don't even know if that's, like, a thing. I just feel there. like... It's a thing. I just picture her with the cowboy hat and whatever the video is, and at least one of these from the set. There's, like, yeah. 20 of them in there. <laughs> well, look, that hat protected you from the sun. I love that you just brought that up, because I literally was like, yo, I get why they wear cowboy hats. Like, my face didn't get burnt at all today. I didn't have any lotion. So they're very effective. That's it. They're incredibly versatile, and, and they'll break a fall if you slam on your head, <laughs> you know? I don't think Just so. Just like everybody in this category rocking their country helmets. Take a look. 
going on in the house. Punk rock cowboy with her Doc Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh! Man, don't ever trust a banister. <laughs> Wee -hee. Oh, oh, man, he's cowboy fine. Cowboy has saved him. He's fine. Cowboy has saved him. Dead. Wee -hee. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Bro, God. God. you've Come never back. juked man. a human being a day <laughs> in your life. Look at his juke Basically move. juked him right his into it. Move like he was square dancing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did we teach you that here, Cod Murphy? <laughs> no, nobody taught him that. He was born with that. We'll be right back with more ridiculousness. Okay, is there any truth to the fact that Britney Spears threw you a cowboy hat at a concert that you oh, caught God. and some dad punched you in the face and stole from you? That it's all true. It was my first concert I ever went to. <laughs> and I didn't go to see the show. I went because my little sister was a big Britney Spears fan. Whatever you need, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, you know. hey, hey. Hey. So we were in the front, and um, it was this tour where she had a pink cowboy hat, and she would take it off and throw it. And I caught it, and I got it for my little sister. And uh, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I got like wrestled to the ground and just started getting punched in the face. Yeah. I hadn't even been in a fight before. I was like 11 or 12 years old. <laughs> yeah. And I get up and this like 55 year old dad is like ripping this hat out of my hands. And so like I let it go and my sister's like, oh my God, you're bleeding. And my entire nose man. was like busted open. So I just spend the rest of the night in the EMT tent with my mom. Oh, oh man. You can't man. tell anybody you got your ass with a Britney Spears <laughs> concert. <laughs> I don't even think his kid was with him either. No. He, just, <laughs> he just wanted it to bring him home. Oh man. <laughs> Well, look, it, it would have been nice for you to have that. It would have been an amazing piece of memorabilia that you could wear forever, you know? Uh, this category is filled with other uh, people that have decided to become cowboys with cowboy hats that are quite different. Take a look at alt cowboys. Ooh, oh, here we go. Ooh, a cowboy. Oh, let me treat Ooh, it like... Ooh, I can smell that yellow tail oh, from Malware. Oh, oh, yeah, that's that good stuff. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh. My oh. eyes say it's a little tart. Genuine <laughs> ostrich. Three payments. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, What's that? Oh, I'm just goofing. New boot goofing. Oh! <laughs> I got it. I got it. I know exactly who he is. If Canada had cowboys, this, this would be it. We should have missed it. What's that? <laughs> What's that? Oh, I'm just goofing. <laughs> goofing, goofing. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it gets bad for real. Oh, man. Now this, this is authentic cowboys. These are cowboys for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Hold on. What, what's happening here? Daisy they Dukes? all look so comfortable. Man, they really do look very relaxed yeah. in the situation that they're in right now. My man got the Crocs, the Daisy Dukes, and a bikini top. Man, on. Crocs, <laughs> Daisy Dukes, and bikini top, and a cowboy hat? Mm-mm, bad, bad, bad. We'll be right back with more Ridiculous news. Okay, uh, throughout your life in the South, in Texas and Tennessee, do you ever get on, on the back of a horse? Yeah, I've ridden some a couple times in my life, but people, th people really think that, like, we ride horses to school. Does like, any, did anyone at your school ride a horse to school? No, I don't think that's legal. Right. <laughs> I don't think you just pull up with a horse. Where are you going to park it? Like, Where are you going to park it? Park it. Come on, park it, man. Hey, I'll, hey uh, stay. Uh, All right? I'll be uh, back in eight hours. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I got to believe that there's somewhere in the United States of oh, America somewhere. Sure. where you can take a horse to school. You know what I mean? 100%. Well, look, this is a special category of horses going next level. Take a look at true horsepower. Get these horse nuts. Hey, that's a lot of ass right there. That's a lot of Yeah, and the engine's warm and it's like a heating pad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. I didn't even go there. Okay. You know, his nuts are just nice and toasty right now. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. That's, yeah, that, like, that's that man's fault. That's that what I mean. Like, you ain't got no room here <laughs> at all. Like, yeah, there's a fucking horse parade going on in the middle of your city. You need to stand down, okay? It's not a normal day. Man, just, man. You're trying to beat traffic. Get on a horse. <laughs> Come on, Smokey. Good oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Go back. This horse is like a motocross jump. <laughs> almost landed right on the dog. <laughs> the dog almost got that work, oh boy. boy. Yeah. Woo! Woo! 
Man, we got flipping and jumping and rolling horses. We'll be right back with more ridiculousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah.